For the first time since sources told two on your side that Congressman Brian Higgins would be leaving his seat in Washington, he has finally addressed the rumors. Good evening. I'm Claudine Ewing. Two on your side's Andy Payton joins us now. He has more on what the congressman had to say about his future. Andy. Claudine, that's right. Tonight, Congressman Brian Higgins making it official, announcing that he will not be seeking re-election in 2024 and that the first week in February of 24 will be his last. The soon-to-be former congressman crediting his departure to what he calls a dysfunctional Congress, saying that Moody's most recent downgrade of America's debt from stable to negative, specifically because of that polarization, has made him realize he can no longer make the same impact locally that he once could. Congress is not the institution that I went to 19 years ago. It's a very different place today. We're spending more time doing less, and uh, the American people aren't being served. Right. Time Congressman also not naming any names as who could potentially take his seat, but saying that a special election will likely be held in the spring once the governor officially accepts his resignation. However, some front runners include Buffalo Mayor Byron Brown, State Senator Tim Kennedy, and Erie County Executive. Mark Pullen cars. Now, as far as what's next for Higgins, sources tell to on your side that he intends to take the position of president and CEO at Chase Performing Arts Center, but the congressman would not speak specifically on what his next move could be. We'll have more tonight on his legacy in Congress and his nearly two decades in that seat. But for now, live and in the newsroom, Andy Payton, Channel 2 News.